is going on guys it's Brennan here back with another video and today I'll be bringing you guys just a short like overview one year review of the car um, and before I get started I just want to say thank you guys for 11 subscribers although it's not a lot um, it means a lot to me and I'm very thankful for all of you guys that want to stay tuned uh, for my videos and for the you know future build of this car and also I wanted to wish you guys a happy new year and finally, thank you to Wagner Car Consults for sponsoring this video. I'll leave a link to them below. If you guys need help, um, like looking for a new car, shopping for a new car. So if you guys want to save a lot of time when shopping for a new car, uh, just head on over there. Like I said, I'll link the website down below. So right now the car has 6,060 miles on it. So just over 6,000 miles. And like I said, I've had it for a year while doing most of the driving for like the past six months or so. So I'll just do a quick sort of shorter review and if you guys want me to I'll do like a more in-depth review but I just wanted to do like a quick little overview of how the car has been for me in the past year. So mods wise I don't have any performance mods or anything like that. All I've done to the car is put in a two inch uh, eco hitch tow hook, tow hitch thing on the back. And then I have the base carrier bars as well as the ski rack on top of the roof from Volkswagen. Fuel economy wise, that was a big thing that I was actually surprised for. And I haven't seen many people review the six speed online, but I'll try to put like pictures of the car, like the car trip computer and stuff here on the screen for you guys but combined between like city and highway major I do mostly like driving around town with like a lot of stop signs traffic lights very hilly and with like I'd say 80% to 90% of that combined with around 10% to 20% of highway driving I get around like mid like 25 to 26 miles per gallon combined which is right on par with what the EPA rates it at. However, the one thing that I noticed is that the highway fuel economy is actually very, very good on this car, and I've gotten upwards of 38 miles per gallon on a highway trip with this car, and I'll try to put that, like I said, on the screen right here. So fuel economy-wise, this car is, like I said, very good, especially on the highway, and also when like driving more spiritedly, it still maintains like low 20s, uh, maybe high like like maybe around like 18 19 if you're really pushing it but other than that it you know keeps a pretty good uh, fuel economy to its name so the next thing I wanted to talk about is obviously the all-wheel drive system because that's why these you know that's why you'd be looking into getting an all track compared to like a GTI or a normal golf sport wagon and I will say it's amazing in the snow and stuff I will link uh, one of my videos of me driving in like 10 inches of snow in the corner of the screen but like I said this all-wheel drive system is, is exceptional um, through deep snow like driving on the roads and stuff like that I mean it also has to do with tires obviously but um, the all-wheel drive system is amazing it's what you'd expect out of a you know Volkswagen 4 motion Haldex system so highly recommend it for your all-wheel drive um, it can pretty much get through anything that you push it towards and like I said if you have like a good set of snow tires you'll be pretty much unstoppable in deep snow and stuff like that transmission wise if you're looking into DSG versus a manual I would highly recommend getting the stick if you can drive stick and that is because this uh, transmission is very very great um, it's very forgiving very easy you have like crisp shifts the throws are a little bit long but it's not awful and it's just a very fun car to drive with the stick um, the DSG though is an amazing transmission as well um, we've had previous golf sport wagons like we had a TDI with the DSG and that transmission was great so you can't go wrong with either but if you're sort of on the fence between getting the stick or the automatic I would recommend getting the stick if you can next thing is like handling and stuff like that I'm on a back road like right now and it's a champ there's like slight body roll but nothing awful and like I said if you like lower it get like coilovers or um, 
even like lowering springs or anything like that it will definitely help but even stock this thing handles amazingly you know and you can throw it into corners it's very stable very predictable like you have absolutely no problems like chucking this in in a corner and out so like i said drives great like powertrain and all of that is amazing i will say it's a little bit underpowered um at times like if you're trying to go on the highway and pass someone you can have you know it would, a little bit more power would be nice but you can easily fix that with like a 600 dollars apr tune and that will bump you up like 60 horsepower so if you're looking into something a little bit quicker you can do it with this car no problem all right and now regarding space obviously this is a wagon and people will be looking to get this over something like a gti or a normal golf solely because it's a wagon and that's one of the reasons why i got this over a gti besides the all-wheel drive and i will say the space is amazing the trunk is actually longer than one of a tiguan like the current mark ii generation tiguan and you can fit a lot of stuff in this car i transported like an ikea bed frame uh, in this car perfectly fine just folding down the seats and moving the passenger seat up just a little bit and you can fit like six foot seven foot long boxes in this car with ease so the space in this car is amazing um, you can easily fit four people in this car like four adults so I'm six foot and I can easily sit behind myself without any issues at all so if you know if you're a taller guy don't worry about this car you'll be fine and yeah, it's just, space-wise, it's amazing. Performance-wise, it's amazing. You know, you can just downshift in the third, going 25 up a hill, and then you'll just keep going. There's no, no limitations whatsoever. Downshift's fine. Yeah, this car is just a blast and for $25,000 now like you can find low mileage ones used um, like a lot of off lease all tracks are starting to pop up at dealerships and you can get those for like $20,000 with like 20,000 miles on it so if you're looking into getting you know a GTI and you need the all-wheel drive or even just like you know if you're looking to get an all track I would highly recommend it um, I've had zero problems whatsoever and quite honestly I've been even a little bit surprised at how great this car was or this car is um, I wasn't expecting this like good of a car um, and especially for this price point you can't go wrong so um, I know this is a little bit longer than I anticipated but if you guys want like more detail and you know a more detailed review or if you guys have any questions whatsoever, leave them in the comments and I'll respond to them uh, as soon as I can. And like I said earlier, uh, if you want to like stay tuned for more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. It would mean a lot. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.